Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to divide um, this polynomial by the binomial. So the polynomial I have is 23k minus 15k squared plus 11 plus 2k cubed divided by 2k minus 5. Now there's a couple ways we can work on division. And on this, on this uh, problem, I'm going to show you how to solve it by using long division. Um, and that's primarily because I have it in the form of a binomial, and the binomial, binomial is in the form of 2k minus 5. So first thing we need to do, if we're going to be dividing a binomial into a polynomial, we need to make sure that polynomial is in descending order. And what I mean by that is I need to have my highest exponent, which we call our degree first, and then we need to be, have descending order of our exponents. So I'm going to rewrite my polynomial. Actually, let's just rewrite it in like long division. So I'll have 2k minus 5 dividing into, and let's write this now in uh, descending order. So 2k cubed minus 15k squared plus 23k plus 11. Okay, so now we're going to do long division just like we did a long, long time ago. Um, we're going to divide this binomial into each polynomial. And the way to do this is we're just going to work on this step by step. So I'm going to say 2k, how many times does 2k divide into uh, k cubed? And you could say it's going to be k squared. Now I'm going to take this, this value and multiply it by both terms of my binomial. k squared times 2k is going to give you 2k cubed. And k squared times negative 5 is going to give you a negative 5k squared. Now the next thing we want to do is subtract this whole row from the top row. So when we do that, I have 2k cubed minus 2k cubed, which is 0k cubed. Well, 0 times anything cancels out, right? Then, it's very, very important for you to understand this. It's not negative 15k squared minus 5k squared. It's negative 15k squared minus a negative 5k squared, which ends up giving me a negative 10k squared. Now, we can say that we can bring these down because there's no other numbers down there. So you can just kind of bring these down. So we have plus 23k plus 11. Because I'm really subtracting them from 0, so they're just going to be there. Now, we work on the next, uh, next value. So I have 2k divides into a negative 10k squared. Well, 2k divides into negative 10k squared uh, in negative 5k. And then once we get this value, we multiply again, negative 5k times 2k, which gives you negative 10k squared. And then I have to make sure you multiply by both terms of your binomial. Negative 5k times negative 5k is going to give me a positive 25k. Then again, we're going to do the same operation. Subtract all of my terms from the bottom from the top. So negative 10k squared minus a negative 10k squared is now going to be double negative will give me a positive. So negative 10 plus 10 is now going to give me a 0k squared. And if you haven't noticed, this is always, we always want to divide that in so we get that to cancel out. So your work should always make, make sense with that. So that's going to cancel out. 23k minus 25k is a negative 2k. And then there's nothing I could subtract 11 from, so I'll just bring that down. All right, last one. It's not that bad, is it? 2k divides into a negative 2k, negative 1 time. Negative 1 times 2k is going to give you a negative 2k. Negative 1 times 5 is going to give me a positive 5. Again, last step, subtract our whole rows. So negative 2k minus another negative 2k is going to give you 0k. And then 11 minus 5 is going to give you a positive 6. So now this is going to be a remainder because 2k does not divide into 6 evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my remainder and then put it over my divisor, which is 2k minus 5. And that is where our remainder is. So, uh, well, that kind of looks weird. Well, and then ladies and gentlemen, that's how you divide a monomial or a binomial into a polynomial. Thanks.